Hey guys, it's Noah from Tata Soul and today I'm making a special Valentine's Day decoration or a gift. For the embroidery, you'll need threads, snipper scissors, needle, fabric, and hoop. You can find all these supplies on my shop. Separate or as an embroidery kit, or if you want just the pattern, there's also a PDF. You can find the link down below. After you apply the hoop and tighten your fabric, prepare the thread and needle. I cut about 30 centimeters of thread and then insert the needle on one side and make a couple of knots on the other side of the thread. Now I can start stitching. I'm using satin stitch for all the rainbow design. You insert your needle through the fabric, going up, and then back down through the other side of the outline. It's a very simple stitch and this design is a good way to practice if you're a beginner. My first tip about satin stitch in an uneven shape like this arch is to stitch from the outside in, which means going from the larger outline to the smaller outline. Another tip is to stitch in sections. It will allow you to keep the stitches going evenly in direction. You can make a stitch about one or two centimeters forward and then fill the section. Or you can make the sections for the whole shape and then fill it with satin stitch. Keep stitching everything with satin stitch in sections. Now you can take the fabric out and I will show you how to make the arched frame. First I measure the height and the width of my desired inner frame. But you don't need to work hard since I made you a free template, of course. You can always count on me. Just download, print and cut. So I got the wrong color of dry clay, so I will paint it later, but you need about 500 grams package for this. The clay is very soft, so mold it a little bit with your hands and then roll a bottle or a plastic rolling pin because it might stick to wood. It should be bigger than the template, of course, and about half a centimeter thick. Place the larger arch on the clay. The paper will stick a little to the clay, which is helpful for the cutting step. Take a knife or plastic cake decoration tool like I did and gently cut around the template. Gently go under the arch so you can lift it and transfer for drying. Now do the same with the smaller arch. You can go over it with warm water to smooth the edges. I did it only to the bigger arch since that's the one you will see at the front. 
Let it dry for as long as it says on the package. We had a couple of very cold days here, so it took almost two days to dry. You can definitely leave it in its natural color. I think it's beautiful, but I got the wrong color by mistake and it doesn't fit my pink thread colors, so I painted it with acrylic paint. Let it dry again if you paint it. Now let's frame our embroidery, finally! Place the fabric over the smaller arch and then place over the bigger arch. You can cut the extra fabric and glue it to the frame or you can make a running stitch all around and pull so the extra fabric will stay together behind the frame. This way you can use it later for different embroideries you make and switch the design. I have a video tutorial about running stitch, you can find it in the link in the description box. When you get to the end, tie a knot and cut the extra thread and you're done. By the way, the scissors and the case, <laughs> you can find them in my shop. And just hang your beautiful little Valentine special on the wall. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!